Hank Steinbrecher has done so much for soccer in the United States. Hank uh, always talked about, you know, if you don't have a vision, how do you really know where you're going? Hank took the Federation into a, a whole new direction. He believed in his heart that he could convince people that there was a better way to run the Federation and there was a better way to further our sport in this country. At the end of the day, when you go home, you wake up the next day, when you work for Hank, you like going to work. Fricker Award is a builder award, and, and there are a few people that have built the sport in so many different ways, um, like Hank has, as a coach, as a player, and obviously the one, uh, you know, the most prominent is an administrator. I don't think there was a meeting at whatever level that he missed anywhere in the country. His, his drive, his energy, his passion, his ability to really uh, get the uh, whole soccer community behind a massive group of efforts that we were undertaking was unparalleled. I think that Hank worked really hard to try to bring people together. He, he believed that we would be successful and he believed that we could find a common mission that would unite our members um, and would overpower those things which tended to divide us. Well when you think about the award being a builder, um, I think builders need dreamers and I think Hank was uh, a great combination with Werner in terms of laying the foundation, but dreaming what, what the 1994 World Cup could be. And more importantly, or equally important, I should say, uh, what, uh, what the U.S. women's and men's national teams could be. There was a lot of people that questioned, even back in the days when my father went after to get the World Cup, um, can the United States pull this off? Um, can, can, can we, this small soccer-playing nation, pull this off? Um, Hank proved that we can. Leading up to the 94 Cup, I think people often use the word event. And if you were close to Hank, he often used the word brand. Now I know why he didn't want to use the word event, because it had an ending. But a brand has a life. And he stressed it every day. He, he really was the first person to truly uh, elevate U.S. soccer's image. Uh, in the marketing world, in the PR world. Now, Hank understood that uh, it wasn't enough to, to put Brazil on display or Italy on display or Germany on display. We had to make sure that the U.S. captured people's imagination, that, that soccer fans in this country, first and foremost, were going to root for our team. And, and I think uh, he played an important role in, in really enunciating that. And he gave inspirational speeches. We nicknamed him the Reverend Hank because he would go and give his really phenomenal speeches whenever we'd have an AGM or, or any kind of gathering, whether two or more people, he'd get them all fired up. He was just, just phenomenal. He embodies enthusiasm and people see that. And when he talks about the game, it's heartfelt. It's not made up uh, and people around him sense that and it's, it's very hard not to be excited by that, not to be entranced by that if, if you're part of the game. The way Hank is about life is how he really carried on and managed people and I think he got tremendous results because of the way he treated people with such compassion at times. He could, he could push you pretty hard. At the same time, the passion won the day and uh, he made, made us all believe. He'd be as enthusiastic and as committed to uh, a youth game uh, or an amateur game uh, down in some neighborhood as he would uh, to a national team game or a World Cup game. Uh, he, just, he just loved it and, and uh, there was no strata involved. He, he, he threw himself into every aspect of soccer. He, he's been a great friend and a great source of inspiration, uh, a, a great family man. His family's important to him and his soccer family's important to him. He's just a warm person. Uh, he loves people genuinely um, and I never talk to Hank that I don't end up with a big smile on my face and laughing. Um, so he, I consider him a dear friend. I will always look, think of Hank as, as, as the Reverend Hank and, and someone that was able to sort of be up there a little bit above the clouds and be able to deliver a message 
that had all the sincerity in the world, as well as the passion that he brought, you know, to the game. He painted, uh, you know, a big picture, and uh, he was confident uh, that we could deliver on that. And I think we did, and uh, much to his credit, quite frankly. Everything that we do, we always stand on the shoulders of the ones that are before us. Um, the award that's named after my dad, it's a builder's award. Hank was a builder, you know, and, uh, and, and in the same sense that my father was. And uh, uh, he, sh he definitely deserves that honor.